welcome back. It is a beautiful day. It is almost 60 degrees. Wait, wait, I'm sorry, almost 50 degrees today. Wishful thinking, but it is starting to warm up. Look at who we got. Hi, buddy. All right, so today we're starting off, kind of unlock the door. Oh, you know, okay, I'm, all right, all right, never mind, we're not going with, so we're going with Ryan to pick up some supplies for a project that you guys won't know about right now, but, Ryan, where are we going? Farmers. What did you What did you call it today? Farmer's Walmart. Farmer's Walmart. Now, I don't actually, I've never heard it called that before. Um, uh, I didn't know if you were like misspelling something or what, or what you were actually doing, uh, but we're going to Tractor Supply to pick up some supplies, like I said, for an upcoming project. This is going to slide off of here, you can go now, um, that we're going to be doing together at the shop, um, and we'll get into that a little bit later, but that's where the day is starting. How was your Monday, Ryan? Oh, it was lovely. That doesn't sound very lovely. Oh, that was just long. Um, also, Ryan... Uh, you know, the, the screws that you screw into wood. Yeah, Ryan did that to me because the AC machine <laughs> that we were using to, to for the dually, uh, he sold. He sold literally, we were joking around about the Who fact- an AC machine and not an AC season? During the winter time, well, I mean, it's not spring yet, so maybe it's still and winter. it's not a body shop. It's what? It's not a body shop buying it. That would make more sense. Oh, okay. Like um, so yeah, the AC machine that we were like, ah, oh, take your sweet time. What was the best way to farm? Are Walmart you going? Are you going to Flemington or Washington? I don't know which one's better? I think they're about all the same. You can go straight. We'll go to. I guess we'll go to Washington. Um, anyway, I'm trying to get this out. Ryan sold the AC machine, so now we got to speed up the dually work a little bit here, so I can recharge the uh, AC system before he sells it in a day or two. So yeah, we weren't planning on doing the AC recharge till the end because some of those lines are really, really tight, uh, even with the fleece AC lines, but that's where the day is starting. I will keep you guys updated. It's gonna be a little bit of a laid back video, just kind of hanging out and then getting over to the shop a little bit later and see what we, we can get done. All right, Ryan. All right, Greg. The wrap color. Yes. What, do you, what do you think? What do you think? My preference, but it's loud. Ryan's, Ryan, Ryan's a hater. I'm Ryan's, not a hater. Ryan's hating on it. And, and guys, that's what I guess that's what's beautiful about the rap. Guess what? I'm gonna get sick of it eventually. Right now, I absolutely love it. I do love the spool bus, the Lamborghini, uh, the taxi, the cabs. All what it, it has so many possible. The yellow brings out so many possibilities, as Ryan said before. I'm gonna get you a township sticker and call it the county truck. The county trucks may be yellow. DPW. <laughs> I, I love it. DPW. I think it's out on the road. I don't care. You can hate all you want. You and I don't care. Back. Alrighty. Here we are. Even though I don't see any tractors here, we are at the supply of the tractors. Farmer's woman. What could we possibly be getting here? They don't sell race. They don't sell race truck parts here. Yeah, they sell chickens. Oh, you want to buy some chickens? No. We ain't got no projects with chickens coming up, let me tell you that. Ron, you want chicken for dinner? Don't, oh. don't kill chicken. Don't kill the chicken. Like my chicken dead and deep fried. Ever heard of Popeyes? I like my chickens live, okay? I like them dead and deep fried. You ever heard of Popeyes? Alrighty, and here we are. Ryan, what are we doing? We're gonna mount that to the roof of your truck? Yes. I need four of them, one for the grill, one for the grill. Yes, we're gonna need we're gonna need a couple of these. All right, so we are picking up a light bar here because this is a little bit of a rushed project. I'm sure there's way many other options, but you guys will find out here. But we're picking up a light bar. You don't want some? You don't want some old Casey Casey daylighters? And then we need some other things in this aisle. Alrighty, people. Two hundred doll hairs later. Some electrical supplies. We still need to make one more stop, but we have a light bar. Yeah, that's like going that. on Ryan's roof. We're gonna be installing this. Nothing but the finest gonna, farmers gonna, Walmart supplies. We're gonna install it underneath the back bumper and just flip one at people. Ryan's very, very worried about people tailgating him, so that's what uh, that's what the light bar is for. No, I'm kidding. All right, so the the light the light bar is for a project. Like I said, me and Ryan are gonna be working on together uh, for somebody else. It's not for us. And like I said, this kind of got dumped. Dumped on Ryan a little bit. He's, he's, he's doing a little bit of a little bit of a side job, so that's what we're doing. Because we thought it was going to be snowing, 
So we're doing it at the shop. Yes. Buckle up for safety. Are we going to the other place right now? Okay, bye, Ryan. Bye. I see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right, guys, currently the next day, uh, by the way, I don't think I mentioned yesterday, uh, daylight savings times. It is now almost six o'clock, and as you can see, the sun is still out, which makes me a very, very happy man. So we have just gotten to the shop here. Uh, we're actually gonna be seeing our man Ryan again here in a little bit. He's gonna be bringing by the project we are gonna be working on. Uh, I had originally planned for the schedule to go a little bit different, but it just turns, he just got it. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Um, we're just gonna roll with it. So we are just gonna quick, um, this may be a one or two day thing, but I'm not gonna drag it out for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys, show you guys what we're doing here um, and kind of go over that. And that'll be today's video. And then we do have a couple other videos uh, coming up and then we'll be tra doing a little bit more traveling. So uh, the, it kind of, with the, with the weather change, um, there's just so much, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Man, so many good names, you know, like the Spool Bus, Lamborghini, you know, the DPW, the Taxi Cab, you know, all of the all of the all of the names are just awesome. I think they're awesome and I absolutely love this damn thing every time I see it, I smile and that's what's most important. So if I love it, you guys have to love it. Anyway, so We've got a lot of, we have got, um, and I was actually gonna try and get into this in a different video, which will be tomorrow's video, so stay tuned. I know I keep telling you guys we got big news. Tomorrow, I'm gonna let you guys know some of those big news items. Like I said, we're gonna be doing a lot of traveling. Um, we have got, we're not talking about little bolt-on parts. We're gonna pick up some massive items for a lot of different trucks here very, very soon. So we're gonna be doing some traveling. Racing season starting. Uh, I'm just I'm every single day constantly getting a little bit better mood because We're starting to do some things. The Sun is out Everything's gonna be opening and it's gonna be sick But anyway, Ryan should be here in a minute. I'm gonna pull the first gen out because we are gonna need some room Don't mind all of the stuff behind me here more turbos um, Parts everywhere. We're gonna try not to show you guys all that stuff because that'll be the next video But we're gonna pull the first gen out and uh, stay tuned for the project that we got going on for the next couple days. Alrighty, here she is. Well, the AC machine's for the dually, but uh, the trailer so Ryan does work for a gentleman on the side uh, for a couple of his vehicles The guy has a aluminum car trailer that he wants to add some lights some different brake lights to it and a light bar um, For some nighttime loading so Ryan uh, Kind of uh, said he would do that for this gentleman and we're gonna do it in here because there used to be snow on the ground here a little bit So I'm gonna help him out and uh, put these lights on and we're gonna kind of do that as a little side project and I was just over here um, tightening down the AC lines on the dually so we can kind of do that because Mr. Ryan sold this. He sold the AC machine on us. So we just got to tighten up a couple other lines. Um, I kind of have the lines mocked up where I know the hot pipe is going to be. They kind of, even with the fleece lines, man, this kid is tight. So um, I'm going to kind of mock up where those need to go and help Ryan back this thing up. Get started on a little trailer, trailer repair. Alrighty, good job backing up, buddy. Uh, Aluminumtrailer.com comes with the free AC machine. Ryan, take take a look at that sexy, beautiful school bus. Look at that thing. My my camera makes it look even weirder, but in person now, see it in person. Does it look any better to you? Lie if you're gonna say no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Lie if you're gonna say no. <laughs> I don't care. I love it. Where'd you go to pick up all the kids at? Loose straps. Loose straps. Oh boy. You break it, you buy it. Alright, so what we're gonna be doing here is adding some D-rings. He wants to set back even further back here, right there. And we are going to put a light bar. 
the old tractor supply farmer's market light bar right here and then he wants some LED brake lights right up here so we're gonna try and do that as clean as we possibly can without uh, drilling a bunch of holes through the deck this is actually a really nice trailer all of course all of the wiring that we need to get to is actually run all the way through the frame so this is not gonna be uh, uh, quick simple um, and nothing is really connected normally what i try and do is try and run all the wiring through all the framing but uh this is solid and trying to drill through all this stuff so we're gonna have to get a little creative we're probably gonna see a little bit of wire so we're gonna have to wire loom some stuff and tie it in where we can but we'll keep you guys updated we're gonna try and get this thing jacked up a little bit so we can get underneath of it Customer wanted, uh, apparently his car must be pretty long. His back axle or his rear suspension where he's uh, strapping to must be pretty close to this D-ring. So we added another one as far back as we could with what was going on underneath. Uh, we did add plates underneath. He supplied these kits. Um, so we just kind of installed them. We actually had to go run out and get longer stainless carriage bolts because the ones this ha this trailer is actually completely thick uh through she's she's a, she's a thick one so we had to go get longer carriage bolts uh the ones they supplied weren't even stainless so we got stainless ones the plates underneath that they had given us were actually metal but is what it is so those are complete and we're moving on to the light bar the old farmer market light bar so we're gonna mount that up here ryan would you say he wanted it on this edge Want it on this edge pointing out? Yes. All right, so we're gonna mount the edge, mount the bright bar on this edge, get it centered up, and we'll start running some uh, some wiring here. And, uh, mount the, the tail do the AC on the dew alley so we got the fleece lines completely locked down everything looks good I actually uh, test fit the hot pipe in here I did actually have to tweak so Ryan what's the actual AC lines are aluminum ends right yes. if you got to tweak them a little bit yeah. it's 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 not the end of the world yeah. so we did actually just uh, tweak this line right here just kick it a little bit out and I had to kind of run it really close to this battery because the hot pipe kind of comes up right through here. But uh, I was able to snake that one nicely and uh, everything's good. Hopefully uh, we'll know here in a second if it holds vacuum for the correct amount of time and holds it. And hopefully we're A-OK -okay on the AC system. One less thing to do. High five. Oh, pound. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right, and then on the trailer over here, gosh, look at this thing. 
on the trailer over here, we are actually really just down to wiring, which I'm not gonna really kill you guys on and show you guys a whole bunch. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. What we gotta do is we have to shorten the harness. We actually are gonna use the harness for the uh, farmer's market light. Um, we're gonna run everything down this bar on the backside. Um, got this hole drilled here for the tail lights, which we're gonna snake down through here, run this across, and then we're actually gonna run everything into this box that we have screwed into right here and on the back side. Weatherproof all of that. Um, this is actually an outdoor like lighting weatherproof box. And then what we're gonna do so we don't run, we don't really wanna drill all the way through the deck of the trailer. We're actually gonna come down. There's actually a box right down underneath here, which I'll get down there and show you guys. You can see we have all of our wires right in this box. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go run uh, either later tonight or tomorrow and grab another one of these uh, fittings for the back side here run the wires just like that in through here on the back side join them up in here kind of like factory and uh, it'll be as factory add-on job as we possibly can uh, seeing all of the wiring otherwise is kind of ran through here we don't have to kind of mess with any of that but overall not too bad just kind of uh, getting through it so yeah that in a nutshell we'll get this aimed exactly how we want it get that locked down that should provide more than enough light for this. This this thing is going to become like a be like a collector. space like yeah, it's going to look like a UFO space beam coming. Like that's going to light this thing up. Um, so he should be pretty happy with that. And uh, this, I guess, the tail lights up here were kind of just he was worried because the only lights on this thing are actually super super low in the back here. So people driving behind kind of can't really see a whole lot. What were you saying with the ramps, right? They spring down? Yeah, like you pop this. That, like that. And then, look, these are on the gas, gas shocks, and then they slide out. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. I thought that was pretty neat. That way you don't have, like, racks right. to More normally. Like, and they're not bouncing up and down. And Oh, yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty, uh, pretty nice aluminum trailer. Very nice. So that is the gist of this evening. Alrighty, AC recharge success. Didn't drop one single, it wasn't scared. It didn't drop one thing. Nope. One, one, one percentage of one pound. So AC system recharged, hopefully you don't run into an issue with the lines. If we do, just give them a little little tweak action, but that should be good. And we will pick up, I won't show you guys the rest of the trailer, I'm not gonna bore you with that, but we'll finish the trailer off tomorrow. Uh, already started shortening some wires up and running some wires, and we'll be good. But that is going to wrap up this evening on uh, this video, guys. We will be back at it again tomorrow. Um, and again, I am going to do a separate video tomorrow going over a lot of the engine stuff that we have upcoming for this upcoming season. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Hit the like button before you leave, subscribe if you have not. See you guys tomorrow. See you.